In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Good morning, everybody. Amen. Morning to everyone joining us at home. Hoping you're all well. I'm offering this Mass for Sarah Welch. Today we keep the memorial of St. Therese of the Child Jesus, who's often known as the Little Flower, because her father gave her a little flower when she told him she wanted to enter a Carmelite convent. Therese was born at Alençon in France in 1873 and had a difficult childhood, her mother dying when she was only four and being bullied at school. Aged only 15 and despite some opposition, she entered the Carmelite monastery in Lisieux in Normandy, joining two of her older sisters. Her parents are the only married couple so far to have been canonised together by Pope Francis in 2015. Eventually, all five of their female children entered Carmel. Therese excelled in practising the virtues of humility, simplicity and a firm trust in God. By her words and example, she taught the novices in the monastery and offered her life for the salvation of souls and for the spreading of the faith in the missions. For this reason, she is the patron saint of foreign missions. She died on the 30th of September 1897 aged only 24. St. Therese is very popular because of her simple and practical approach to the spiritual life. A simple internet search about her reveals her struggles and trials, but also her great humanity, which her makes her very relevant to us today. The basilica ded dedicated to her in Lisieux is the second most popular pilgrimage site in France, after Lourdes. So as we begin our celebration in honour of St. Therese, we pause to call to mind our sins. Lord Jesus, you were lifted up to draw all people to yourself. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You shouldered the cross to bear our suffering and sinfulness. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You open for your people the way from death into life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who open your kingdom to those who are humble and to little ones, Lead us to follow trustingly in the little way of St. Therese, so that through her intercession we may see your eternal glory revealed. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, for ever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Baruch. Integrity belongs to the Lord our God. To us the look of shame we were today. To us the people of Judah and the citizens of Jerusalem. To our kings and princes, our priests, our prophets. As to our ancestors, because we have sinned in the sight of the Lord, have disobeyed him and have not listened to the voice of the Lord our God, telling us to follow the commandments which the Lord had ordained for us. From the day when the Lord brought our ancestors out of the land of Egypt until today, we have been disobedient to the Lord our God. We have been disloyal, refusing to listen to his voice. And so the disasters and the curse which the Lord pronounced through his servant Moses, the day he brought our fathers out of Egypt, to give us a land where milk and honey flow, have seized on us disasters we experience today. Despite all the words of those prophets whom he sent us, we have not listened to the voice of the Lord our God, but each following the dictates of his he evil heart. We have taken to serving alien gods and doing what is displeasing to the Lord our God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response is, rescue us, O Lord, for thy glory, for the glory of your name. 
O oh God, the nations have invaded your land. They have profaned your holy temple. They have made Jerusalem a heap of ruins. They have handed over the bodies of your servants as food to feed the birds of heaven and the flesh of your faithful to the beasts of the earth. Rescue us, O Lord, for the glory of your name. They have poured out blood like water in Jerusalem, leaving no one to bury the dead. We have become the taunt of our neighbours, the mockery and scorn of those who surround us. How long, O Lord, will you be angry forever? How long will your anger burn like fire? Rescue us, O Lord, for the glory of your name. Do not hold the guilt of, guilt of our fathers against us. Let your compassion hasten to meet us, for we are in the depths of distress. Rescue us, O Lord. O oh God, our Saviour, come to our help. Come for the sake of the glory of your name. O oh Lord, our God, forgive us our sins. Rescue us for the sake of your name. Rescue us, O oh Lord, for the glory of your name. Gos gospel acclamation. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord is faithful in all his words and loving in all his deeds. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus said to his disciples, Alas for you, Chorazin, alas for you, Bethsaida. For if the miracles done in you had been done in Tyre and Sidon, they would have repented long ago, sitting in sackcloth and ashes. And still, it will not go as hard with Tyre and Sidon at the judgment as with you. And as for you, Capernaum, did you want to be exalted high as heaven? You shall be thrown down to hell. Anyone who listens to you listens to me, and anyone who rejects you rejects me, and those who reject me reject the one who sent me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Just a quick thought today about St. Therese. Um, part of the prayers that we have to say are called the Office of Readings, which is usually one psalm divided into three, then usually a reading from the Scriptures, and if it's a saint's day, often a reading from that particular saint. So last night I was reading about St. Therese and her life. And as we heard in the little introduction at the beginning, she entered Carmel against a lot of opposition at the age of 15 and died died aged only 24. She was asked by the head of the convent to write her life story and so she put it down into six exercise books which the head of the convent took and promptly put in a drawer. I can't remember how but somehow they became widely known and it became a movement that basically swept across the world. But that only happened after her death. And that's the thing, is that the Lord can work through us and we have to always trust in him to know that we may not know the good that we are doing, we may not know what happens after we've died, we may not know the seeds that we have sown. But in the example of the life of St. Therese, we're shown that wonderful things are capable through each one of us. Blessed to you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed to you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May 
As we proclaim your wonders in St. Therese, O Lord, we humbly implore your majesty that as her merits were pleasing to you, so too our dutiful service may find favour in your sight. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For you are praised in the company of your saints, and in crowning their merits you crown your own gifts. By their way of life you offer us an example. By communion with them you give us companionship. By their intercession, sure support. So that, encouraged by so great a cloud of witnesses, we may run as victors in the race before us and win with them the imperishable crown of glory through Christ our Lord. And so with the angels and archangels and with the great multitude of the saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in Christ. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the heights. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, in recognising the sacrificial victim, by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with Saint Therese and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis our Pope and Malcolm our Bishop, 
the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours for ever and ever. Amen. Amen. the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer one another a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. May the sacrament we have received, O Lord, kindle in us the force of that love with which St. Therese dedicated herself to you and loved to obtain your mercy for all. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Today we say au revoir and bon voyage to Angela, Elaine and Pat's sister. You're heading back to Toronto, I believe, on Sunday, but may not be uh, able to join us for Mass on Sunday morning. So have a safe journey home. What's the weather like in Toronto at the moment? For those of you at home who couldn't hear, it's pretty much the same as here. So the temperature about the same, but the winters are a lot colder, aren't they? Yes, a lot colder there. Okay. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Amen. Thank you for joining me for Mass this morning, those of you here in church and those of you at home.